and Zambia, I don't know what is going to happen to your power. June 11, 2024, our global prophet, Prophet Abel T. Boma, gave prophetic word concerning power outage in Zambia that will occur for a long time. Global news reaching us, Zambia is facing 21-hour power cuts from September 14 when its hydropower plant on Lake Kariba is set to be turned off due to insufficient water. Here is the prophecy watch and share. And Zambia, I don't know what is going to happen to your power. So I'm seeing what they call load shading in Zambia. There's going to be load shading. So tell the president um, to continue working with the power because I'm seeing load shading. Load shading is going to be a problem in the American, um, in the, I say, sorry, I say the American, the Zambia country. So load load shading you know what they call load shading no power no power no power in the house no power in the house it's going to be so worst in zambia is coming so let us pray that it it grows it develops you understand so uh, let's pray because load shading is going to be a problem hmm? so it's going to be a very dramatic problem where for two days there might not be a, there, there, there might not be power in the city uh, you understand let's pray so that it doesn't get it doesn't get to that extent eh? it doesn't get to that extent where there is no power for one day two days no power four days no power the government keep talking and talking so let's pray and uh, let's the school computer lab doesn't get used much anymore. People in Zambia are going without power for more than 20 hours every day, known as load shedding. We have to pump our water up into our tanks and then into the classrooms and the toilets and everything uh, on, in the, on the school side. One day we had a terrible incident where because of load shedding we just didn't have enough water and there was quite a, a bit of trauma and ish, that really spurred us to say we need to do something more. Investing in reliable supplies of electricity is no longer a luxury. The use of standby generators has increased. The standby generators lie on imported fuel. So fuel import costs are rising. And these obviously need to be passed on to the consumers. So the cost of living, the cost of production, everything uh, is in, um, in, in the wrong direction. Kariba Dam provides hydroelectric power to a station on the Zambian side of the lake in the north and to the Zimbabwean side on the south, supplying most of the country's electricity. The shoreline used to be here, now it's over there. Water levels at Lake Kariba have dropped dramatically because of the drought. Both Zimbabwe and Zambia need the lake to generate power. Low water levels mean electricity supplies have been drastically cut. In Zimbabwe, that means daily blackouts, sometimes up to 18 hours. For years, the El Nino weather phenomenon has caused droughts and heat waves in the Zambezi region. Now Lake Kariba is shrinking. It's worrying a lot of people.